making a sunflower mini canvas, which can be purchased at Walmart, Dollar General, um, or even online if you want. Um, we're going to be starting off using a medium flat brush and saving a small flat brush for the, the detail work. I've got the colors out in my palette. I have a light blue and a dark blue, light green, dark green, light yellow, dark yellow, a black, and a brown. We're going to start off doing the background of our canvas first, and I'll be using the dark blue color to start, and that will be our sky background. I'm going to fill across the top. And don't forget to do the edges. And this may take more than one coat for full coverage. But we're just going to bring it down the canvas about halfway. At the halfway point, I'm going to introduce the light blue, and I'm going to do it with a combination of the dark blue. So double loading the brush by putting half the brush in the dark, half of it in the light, and then blending it on the canvas like that. And again on the sides. And then I'll go straight into the light blue to carry it down. And it's okay if it blends with the darker blue, that's fine. going to use the hair dryer to speed the drying process up. Same process again. You don't need to clean your brush in between because we are blending the colors. So that's okay to go start at the top with the darker blue. Catch your sides and your top. Blend both colors together through the middle. And if you notice, it goes on a lot heavier on the second coat. And we get a lot more coverage. And we get a nice blending of both shades of blue. Be sure to get the sides again all the way around. And the brush can go in the water. Oops. And we're drying. And you know it's nice and dry when there's no shine. Really rinse your brush. Wipe it clean. We'll be making the center of our sunflower using the black. I'm using, still using the medium flat brush. And what's nice is you can use the brush almost like a compass and turning it on its corner to get a nice rounded center. About the size of a little larger than a quarter. I would say a half dollar, but I don't know if anyone knows what those are anymore. <laughs> Just about that size. You can put the brush in the water. And one coat should do it with the black, so a quick dry. And now to make the petals that go around our center, and we'll be using the smaller flat brush and starting with the dark yellow. With the flat brush, 
we want to start on the edge, start a brush stroke, and then just go to a little point. So you're lifting your brush up and off the canvas just to get a, a little pointed petal. So start flat and then twist up. And you can work your way around your center. Start on the edge and twist up. Flat and then, so you're turning your brush as you're doing it and that helps get to the point. Twist it. And they can go in different directions. They don't all have to be exactly the same. Work your way all the way around. I might make this one a little bit bigger to match the others a little bit better. And we do want that, we do want to use the dryer to dry that. It's a little heavier paint there. And now using the lighter yellow, same idea, but we're painting petals on top and in between the petals that we just made. So I'm starting at the edge of the circle and now in between making the same brush stroke. These lighter pe petals are on top of the petals that we just put down. So on the edge and we'll twist to a point. Edge and twist. So we're filling in all the gaps in between the petals we started with. until you've filled it all the way. And then you can rinse your brush. Dry again. And rinsing off the same small flat brush, we're going to add some leaves in the four corners and I'm doing the same as we did earlier. I'm going to put both the light and green, uh, dark green, on the same brush. So dip one corner in the dark green, the other corner in the light green. And I'm using the same brush stroke as we used on the petals, but just to make a leaf shape in the corner. So it's like start off and give a little twist. And you're getting both colors blending for the leaf. So start in the corner and give a little twist and blend the two colors. One leaf in each corner. Rinse. And for the seeds in the center of the sunflower, we're going to use the back of a, of a paintbrush. Oops. We want to use the back of a small paintbrush that we're going to dip in the brown paint and dot on the black. I'm going to keep dipping and dotting. You can do more than what the dots will get smaller the more times you dot as you go around. So you can do it a couple of times before you need to reload with paint. filled in and let that have a chance to dry and then you can put it on your mini easel.